Hello and welcome to Nemani.com's YouTube channel. My name is Fayaz. 2020 was a year that taught us so many different kinds of things. We learned the importance of having good immunity. We learned the importance of maintaining social distancing. We also learned the importance of cleaning our hands regularly so that we are uh, safe and not just we are keeping ourselves safe, but also our family safe. But the most important question that you have to ask yourself in the year 2020, whether you were able to meet your financial goals or not. In this video, we'll break down this entire concept of financial goals and we'll talk about the different kinds of financial goals that you have to keep in mind and you have to ask yourself whether you were able to do all these things that we'll be mentioning in this particular video and if you were able to do it, let us know your thoughts in the comment section and also without a further ado, let's get to the point. The number one thing that you have to ask yourself is that now that 2020 is over, is your emergency fund still adequate? You might have used out some chunk of money from an emergency fund. An emergency fund, as you all know, is basically the amount that you keep in your bank account or maybe in a, any kind of liquid funds which you can access or which you can utilize if at all there is any worst case scenario in your family. It can be uh, someone's disease, someone's illness, it can be a loss of your job or maybe business loss, etc, etc. In such scenarios, you should not uh, you know, go and beg people for money. You should be able to take care of yourself and your expenses and that's the reason why we strongly recommend you to, that you need to maintain uh, liquidity or and also you need to maintain emergency fund in your bank account so by chance in 2020 if at all you have lost your job if at all you have lost uh, your business in that case were you of course you were you had to take care of your family and your expenses via the emergency fund but now that 2020 is over are you still maintaining that emergency fund or not have you recharged your emergency fund have you given a top up to your emergency fund if not it's high time that you do it because it is extremely important to maintain very good amount of emergency fund for yourself and and for your family. The next thing that you have to ask yourself is that how is your insurance cover going on? Are you paying your premiums on time? Are you taking care of uh, whether the insurance communication, whatever you're receiving from the respective insurance company, whether you're receiving it timely or not? Are you able to uh, utilize your insurance cover properly? Because we all have learned the significance of maintaining a very good life insurance, not just a life insurance. A lot of people have also signed up for health insurances as well in the year 2020 because we all have uh, learned about the fact that the treatment of corona is a very, very expensive thing. And if at all, you have uh, an health insurance that you have done, it will basically become a plus point because you will be able to take care of your medical expenses if at all you have a good health insurance. So if you by chance have claimed for your health insurance in the year 2020, it's high time that you revive your insurance plan so that you are able to take care of your family and yourself in the near future as well. And if at all you have never taken a family floater plan, you should definitely take it up. And along with that, if at all you have a life insurance, if, if you think that the cover is not sufficient to take care of your family, maybe your extended family also, you should definitely now try and increase the life cover because when we start our professional career that time we have different objectives that time we think a different, a different number which we think would be sufficient to take care of our family but eventually as we grow up as we get married as we have kids as we have more responsibilities we realize the fact that having that particular amount might not be sufficient for my entire family and that's the reason why you should definitely time and again review your life insurance cover and if at all it's possible for you you're financially capable to do it you should definitely increase your life cover the third thing that you have to ask yourself is that have you fulfilled your debt obligation of course we all have different kinds of loans that we have in our, on our head. It can be an education loan, it can be a credit card loan, it can be a personal loan, it can be a home loan. So if at all you had multiple loans on your head, have you tried to get rid of at least one or two of such loans in the 2020? If not, that should be a priority because a lot of people have this uh, concern or have this dilemma whether they should focus on clearing of their loans or whether they should focus on making investment. But the it, it differs according to your personality, according to your pro profile and according to your income status because if at all you are a person who is in the tax bracket, you should definitely maintain a loan because you will get tax benefit when you are trying to pay off your home loan or any other loan EMIs. And if at all you are a person who doesn't really want to care about uh, the tax bracket, in that case you should try and get rid of the home loan or the loans that you have in your head as early as possible because that's how you'll be able to focus on your investment because you'll not be getting, yeah, like, you'll not be basically paying the money from your bank account to someone rather you're investing that money into something useful which will be eventually beneficial for you and your family to maintain a very healthy and an amazing lifestyle the fourth thing that you have to ask yourself is that have you kept a track on your tax saving goals because in the year 2020 we were getting a lot of extension for filing our taxes and that's the reason why we probably got a little lenient also with our tax filing and eventually with our tax uh, calculations and tax goals as well but that's not the case that you should try and keep in the year 2021 also you should try and definitely keep a track on your tax saving and also if uh, you basically uh, are not investing in the right kind of funds which help you to save taxes then you are definitely not doing the right thing because 
eventually as and when our income grows a large chunk of our money goes out to pay taxes but if you plan your taxes right if at all you plan in the right kind of investment options you'll be able to save a lot of money that you are paying out as taxes via investing in the right kind of investment options and there are so many options that are available in our country today you can invest in PPF you can invest in a lot of government bonds you can invest in sovereign gold bonds and there are so many other different kinds of plans that are available for different time duration so definitely you should research about it you should learn about it you can download the financial freedom app there we have discussed about this in detail and that's how you'll be able to save a lot of money in the form of tax and last but definitely not the least you should also ask yourself that whether your investments are on track or not if at all you have taken up for any kind of uh, mutual fund investment it can be in the form of SIPs or it can be in the form of direct lump sum payments are you still keeping a track of your SIPs are you still keeping your mutual fund investments or any other kind of investments on if at all you have uh, commitments in terms of paying your PPF contribution so are you paying them timely or have you paused it for a bit because of the entire corona pandemic but if at all you by any chance have paused it in the 2020 it's time that you revive it because eventually in the long run you'll be able to take care of your family in a much more better manner because you'll be able to create a wealth for yourself and your family and you'll be able to do it only if you keep your investment premiums and your investment SIP is timely and you religiously follow it irrespective of what the economic situation is because uh, once we have this habit of stopping our SIPs or stopping our uh, PPF or any other kind of contributions we will eventually spend that particular money for our leisure activities for our entertainment and in the long run you'll be regretting this decision because you might have not utilized that money in the right direction when you had time. So it's high time you realize this significance of this particular thing and try and start off your contributions as early as possible so that you can take care of your yourself and your family in the long run. So if you found this video informative, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon as well so that you never miss an update from innermoney.com. And if you haven't downloaded the Financial Freedom app, please do download it as well. The link of this app is provided in the description box. My name is Fayaz and you're watching innermoney.com.